And well, uh, to talk more about this, we are now being joined uh, by Vebha Dange, who is, uh, who is a, po a policy expert uh, in infrastructure, sustainability and green mobility, who is joining us now from New Delhi. Thank you very much, sir, for talking to Vion this evening. Now, rescue op officials are saying that they are just about two meters away from reaching uh, these 41 workers. How much time do you think it will take to finally pull each worker out and what does this final stage involve? Uh, as the reports I have been gathering and from the various media sources as well, uh, they have almost finished the entire uh, uh, digging and the pipes are in the final stages of building. As I understand, the process is once the entire breakthrough is achieved, uh, the maybe two or three personnel team of a rescue uh, uh, force, uh, disaster rescue force will go inside, assess the pro uh, situation of how the workers can be brought into the pipe the accessibility of the pipe from the tunnel uh, side. And once that is done, they'll do a kind of a mock drill uh, of bringing one or two uh, mock workers uh, on a stretcher, pulling them out of the pipe. And then one by one, the workers will start coming in. As uh, the reports have been suggesting and the uh, uh, some of the NDRF uh, uh, officials have suggested me that they'll try to bring two workers at a time on a stretcher. So, uh, so it still will, will be a long process because there are 41 workers trapped inside. So it's not a question of few minutes or few, uh, few, few. Uh, it will at least take few hours to finish the whole process. Right. And if everything goes as has been envisaged, I think uh, the rescue should actually start uh, somewhere around, you know, half an hour here and there around nine. And then maybe a couple of hours it will take for all workers to come out and then the medical team to inspect them, uh, look at their health parameters and then send them to the hospitals uh, uh, as has been designated. Right. Uh, and then uh, put them into observation for another, uh, you know, 48 or 72 hours, depending right. on their parameters. Right. Right, sir. Yeah. And also, of course, yeah. uh, given the topography of this region, this has, of course, been a challenging task for the multi-agency effort that's been put in place. Explain to us what it really took and takes to do a process like this, uh, you know, given all the difficulties. Yeah, Bhairavi, as, as you rightly put in, entire Himalayan region is a very fragile region. It's a very young mountain. And those kind of challenges are always seen in this kind of infrastructure project, particularly the kind of geostata Himalayan region presents. And therefore, the whole rescue operation also faced similar kind of uh, challenge. And probably this is one of the biggest rescue operation in last uh, 20, 25 years, span over almost 18 days, 17, 18 days, uh, with more than 41 workers trapped in. And as you have uh, observed uh, into the rescue operation, it was a multi-agency rescue operation put together quite professionally monitored uh, by the government at the highest level from the federal government, from the state governments, various agencies like the highway agency, uh, the uh, agencies who are expertised into vertical drilling, agencies who are expertised into, uh, as we saw, rat miners. So multiple disciplinary, multidisciplinary agencies came together, disaster relief force came to be, rescue force came in, uh, the health department came in, communication experts came in, defense experts came in, uh, the agencies like uh, Drilling Association of the Global Drilling Associations, Mr. Arnold Dix has been brought in to overall monitor and uh, plan the rescue operations. So this has been a very, very massive rescue operation hmm. happening parallelly on five front. There was a horizontal drilling happening from Silkiara side from where the success is, is about to achieve. Uh, there was efforts going on for a vertical drilling. There was efforts going on for a perpendicular horizontal draining and there was of course effort going on from the other portal of the tunnel hmm. so all the five port uh, uh, you know fronts were open rescue team was not letting anything go down uh, you know challenges has came uh, for example vertical drilling suddenly saw amount of water coming out of the mountain and entering into the tunnel horizontal draining saw a lot of uh, uh, debris had a lot of uh, uh, huge girders and steel bars and eye bars and everything that has halted the auger machine and uh, other right. kind of equipments. But the only positive was the entire efforts was coordinated. Hmm. Uh, the efforts were monitored at the highest level. And therefore, there was a uh, there was a method in whatever has been happening. Uh, there was no panicky. 
uh, the workers who were trapped inside had enough space to uh, to move around uh, right. the first priority as ha- as has to be the rescue team has first ensured that the life support reaches to the trapped workers right. and the necessary food medicine water oxygen everything reached them and therefore their morale was also right. a bit high right along with the support from everybody right around. absolutely so and also as you're pointing out this has been of course uh, quite a seamless uh, you know operation despite all the challenges which uh, and you have mentioned many of those in vertical and horizontal drilling and so on but what really saved the day many are saying uh, is the rat hole mining which is now actually in many parts banned and outlawed uh, but that manual drilling by hand is really the one that's actually made the rescuers reach the workers at this point absolutely as they say it's it's it it, ha- it has been like a icing on the cake you know after the auger machine failed and everything failed the expertise that has uh, for whatever reason has been preserved preserved has ultimately uh, been the biggest rescue uh, you know uh, option that uh, the whole uh, operation was opted to and these miners have done relentlessly last 18 hours they have been working uh, without stop the teams have been uh, prepared one after other you know two member team goes inside the pipe start digging after they are tired they come out and then another team goes in so i think this has this has been a quite uh, uh, one the uh, uh, coordinated effort to the entire force or entire agencies all the agencies and people involved were quite motivated and uh, you know focused on ensuring that we have to save the life of the people in fact uh, i was talking to some people today there and uh, people living in around villages have been uh, you know coming forth to help the whole rescue right. team and the agencies you know pray for the uh, safety of the uh, workers trap even right. few of the villagers have accommodated the family members of the workers and given them solar kind of a, mm-hmm. a, you know a support moral support Absolutely. i think this has been a tremendous tremendous uh, effort yeah. by everybody to put together right All right, Vaibhav well, Dangle, thanks very much indeed sir for joining us and sharing all Thank your you. inputs Thank and you so expert much. opinions uh, uh, on the show. Uh, Vaibhav Dangle is policy expert in infrastructure. Thank you.